What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So in today's video we're looking at a brand new gold farm that I've never done before and it's really exciting because it actually takes place in Pandaria and the people that has been into the gold farming business for a while they know just how bad Pandaria is in general when it comes to transmog because Blizzard was really lazy in this expansion and nearly every single green item, blue item and epic item that you get shares appearance with like five six other items from the expansion they literally just made the mace and then they gave it seven different names across blue items epic items and green items uh, and most of them even share appearance with basic quest items now there are some exception like the sandlary troll monster uh, transmog that you can get from uh, isle of giants or isle of thunder for instance all of those items are unique and there's also some very hard to get blue items with a unique appearance, which is what we're going to talk about in today's video. Now, before we do so, though, big thank you to every single one of you guys that has picked up the uh, 0 to 10 million gold guide. The support is absolutely massive, and I'm so glad that you guys are liking the updates. Because if you didn't know, once you get the book, you will also receive a lifetime of free updates. So... Whenever there's a new uh, patch or even a new expansion, I update the gold guide to that patch and expansion, and I send that version directly to your mail for free. So make sure you use the discount code DRAGONFLIGHT to get it for 50% off. And if you already have the book, consider joining in the VIP Discord, which is pretty much like a Patreon, but it's filled with exclusive content like gold tips and investments and helpful spreadsheets to make you gold. So that's going to be linked down below together with the gold guide. Now, this item was actually a suggestion from a viewer of mine, Nikolai, who has watched my stream and my videos for over eight years. And the idea was that we would farm for this one, the Ritter's Rat Render, which is a, a fairly cool looking weapon from uh, Panda, right? It's big, it's a polearm, and there's no item that has the exact same appearance as this one. But since they're like fairly hard to get, there's also not that much data on it because usually when you have an item uh, a blue item uh, that's unique like this it's like a zone specific item it can only drop in said zone or it drops from like a mob type like beast humanoid undead uh, but when you look at wowhead which is not famously known to be super accurate it just doesn't make sense uh, because there's uh, recorded drops of humanoid mobs and beasts and in like all different zones and dungeons. Same with the uh, WoW DB. Uh, so it was really hard to figure out how to get it because I've killed tens of thousands of mobs on Isle of Thunder, Isle of Giants, doing Sky Shard farms. And I've never seen anyone, including myself, get this polearm. So we... We went to Auction DB to look at the uh, confirmed sources of the weapon, but then you also have to find a, like a location where you can get the mobs to hyper spawn, and uh, that's when we found this location. Well, Nikolai did uh, this one right here, right above West Wind Rest in uh, Kunlai Summit. Now these uh, the terracotta warriors and their dogs. They hyper spawn like absolutely crazy. Like you can't even keep up with killing them. I'm going to show you guys a clip from uh, my live stream when we first tested this farm, just so you guys can see just how fast they spawn. Like we literally, there's points where we struggle to kill all the mobs because there's so many mobs in a very small area, and they hyper spawn insanely fast. Like insanely fast. Now, uh, the item that I showed you guys, the Rat Render, Ritter's Rat Render is not the only item uh, that you can get that's worth putting up on the auction house. Uh, there's also items um, uh, like this one, the Ritualistic Sickle, which does actually share appearance, but it shares appearance with a BOP item. So uh, everyone that's a collector and goes on the auction house and scans for this appearance are only going to be able to see this one. And I have no doubt that it's going to sell. It even has like a built-in glow on it, which helps as well. But for collectors using ATT, they definitely want to uh, want to get this item as well. Even though the uh, Ritter's Rat Render is a complete unique item. So that's going to be uh, the better option. Now, besides from that, there's also some items that's like worth posting on the auction house. 
even though they're not necessarily unique. So uh, you have items such as I received, like the Dual Guardian's Long Rifle, which, yes, it does share appearances with other items, but um, still, they usually tend to sell if they don't share appearances with like any basic green items. Like, we received a blue axis from this farm that had the exact same appearance as uh, the rigid axe, right? Like a basic green. So there's a, a green and a blue version that can both drop from uh, the same place. Uh, and it, it's the same with a couple of blue items from this farm. But there is the potential of getting some really big items on it. And we did actually, because we weren't sure if we could get the, the Ritter's Rat Render like in... Uh, like at this location until we had like i think it was four minutes left or something like that of the uh the stream and we actually as you can see in the top right we managed to get our ritter's rat render from this location so it's confirmed that it can drop from this location uh, it is worth mentioning that you should get like roughly three four thousand gold raw just from vendoring the grace and the green items. On top of that, you also get like 50 to 60 Spirit of Harmony. So that's another five, 6,000 gold. So you'll make like 10k an hour guaranteed, even if you don't get anything that's worth posting on the auction house. Uh, but I thought it was interesting to make this video since it's a panda farm that I've never featured before. And uh, you have the possibility of getting uh, unique items that could sell for a lot of gold. Now, the market value in EU is 170k, right? But there's like around 20 of these available on the entire EU. So it's, it's a very rare uh, item. And I think there was one up on uh, on my my realm. If there's any up right now. Well, there's none up right now. There was one up for 550,000 gold on my realm. So I'm definitely going to spend as much time as I need to in order to get this one so I can have it up on the auction house. Uh, with that being said, though, that was pretty much it for today's video. So once again, thanks to Nikolai for finding the item and the uh, the location, which is West Win Rest in uh, Kunlai Summit, if you guys want to go ahead and try it out. I mean, by no, all means, it's a very small area, as I said, and they hyper spawn like crazy. So yes, it's definitely possible to solo this farm but as every other open world farm, the more people you bring, the more mobs you're uh, going to kill. So the, the chance of getting what you're after is drastically increasing. Yeah, I always get a question about this. But pretty much if you have five people and every guy kills one one mob each, right? Every, every guy in the group can loot that mob that everyone killed. Like you don't need to kill the mob yourself. Like, one of the people in your group can kill a mob, and everyone can still loot that mob, because each loot is uh, individual. Uh, so if, you, um, if you're if you running it solo uh, versus five people, it's not like the group with five are going to get five times the kills. They're going to get more than that, because of the hyper spawn. You're killing more mobs, causing even faster respawns, which allows them to kill even more mobs again. So it's like a snowball effect. So there's a big difference between doing it solo and in a group. But if you guys struggle to find groups, uh, you can always join my Discord. It's like 14, 15,000 members on it and try to find people to join uh, or create groups uh, using the Discord. But that's pretty much it. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the Gold Guide and the VIP Discord, which is linked down below in the description. And I will see all of you guys back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.